Okay, hello algebra students. Day three of our final review. We're getting near the end. Maybe one or two more days left for the review. Final, June 11th. Do really good, make me proud, get good grades. Remember, it's very important. You failed the final, you might not pass the class. All right, so first question here, number seven. Multiplying exponents. Now, if you remember the commutative property of multiplication says I can, since this is really six times r times five times r squared, I can multiply this in any order I choose. For the purpose of this one, I'm gonna change the order around. I'm gonna move the numbers around. I'm gonna say it's six times five. Keep the numbers together times r times r squared. This makes it much easier on me. I'll deal with this half, and I'll deal with this half. Okay, now, the only issue we want to point out here is when there is no exponent, the exponent really is 1. 6 times 5, you can do that in the calculator real easy, and we put 6 times 5 in the calculator, I get this number. Now, if you remember the rule for multiplying exponents, with the same base, is you keep the base, in this case our base is r, and you add the exponents. So I keep the base, the base is r, and they add the exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. There's your answer. Okay, next one, a little bit more work. Okay, it says multiply the following binomials. Box method. Okay, this is a 1, 2 by 1, 2. So a 2 by 2. So I go 1, 2 in this direction. And I do 1, 2 in that direction. I always color this a side end. This will get one row of Q and negative 7. And the other one will get Q and plus 6. Start multiplying. Q times Q. Remember, keep the base. Q. Add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. Here, 6 times Q is just 6Q. Negative 7 times Q is negative 7Q. And negative 7 times Positive 6, if you're unsure, remember, don't use your phone. Well, you can use your phone. It has a good calculator on it. But use the calculator. Use decimals if need be. You just go negative 6, excuse me, negative 7 times 6. I get negative 42. Now, remember, next step is I take these numbers I just created. These four, and hide it like in green. And I take them out. And I have 9 squared plus 6. You know, it's not 9, it's Q squared. Q squared plus 6Q minus 7Q minus 42. I do combine like terms. Combine like terms, and my end result is, well, Q squared has nothing to combine with. I can combine these both because they both have the variable of Q in them. Positive 6 minus 7. If I don't know it, I'm going to definitely check the calculator, but we know it. It's just Q minus Q minus 42. And that is our final answer. All right. One more. So remember the box method for number eight. Remember the video is here. It will be up all week, all next week. You can always review these problems. Get a high grade. Some of us really, really need it. Next, factoring. All right. Got a huge fan of factoring when I was a kid and now I love it. And now I'm also including with this your very own factoring uh scaffolding sheet here, or fact, factoring, uh, I don't know, 
I don't know. What do you want to call it? Factoring sheet. So I don't have to do it here. I'm going to do it on here. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite my factoring thing. I'm going to say it's x squared, my polynomial, 5x minus 6. That's the one on the problem. Double check, make sure I got the right one. Positives and negatives are in the right spot. Good. Okay, what's my a? Well, there's nothing in front of the x squared, so a is 1. What's my b? It's 5, positive 5. What's my c? Negative 6. Okay, so next thing. a times c, a times c, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Use the calculator, as always. And here you just have to put b. So they have to add up to 5. And they have to multiply to negative 6. Well, how can we get negative 6? Well, I could do negative 6 and 1. I could do negative 1 and 6. I could do negative 2 and 3. I could do 2 and negative 3. Is there any more I can think of? Okay. So what happens is I start adding them up. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. I need positive 5. Negative 6, negative 1 plus 6, there's our answer. I'll check the other ones just to be sure. You don't have to check the other ones if you get your answer. But that adds up to 1. That adds up to negative 1. So our only one that's possibly the answer is right there. So up here we come back. We write this down. x and x. change colors because these stay the same when you're doing one where the in front of the x is only a one you leave them the same and so I have a negative one and I have a positive six there you go there is your factoring good job I'll talk to you guys later we're almost done